Another day, another story. Introduction. The human mind is a complex system that consists of various memory processes working in tandem. Among these processes are subconscious memory and working memory, each with its unique characteristics and functions. This essay explores the relationship between subconscious memory and working memory, shedding light on how they interact and influence our cognitive abilities. Understanding subconscious memory. Subconscious memory, also known as implicit memory, refers to the storage and retrieval of information without conscious awareness. It includes procedural memory, memory for skills and habits, and priming effects, the enhanced identification or processing of stimuli due to prior exposure. Subconscious memory operates automatically and influences our behavior, perceptions, and decisions without our conscious intention. Understanding working memory. Working memory, on the other hand, refers to the system responsible for temporarily holding and manipulating information in our conscious awareness. It allows us to actively process and manipulate information, making it crucial for tasks such as problem solving, decision making, and learning. Working memory is often described as a mental workspace that coordinates the storage, manipulation, and retrieval of information. The interaction between subconscious memory and working memory. The relationship between subconscious memory and working memory is complex and interconnected. While they are distinct memory systems, they can influence and interact with each other in various ways. Influence of subconscious memory on working memory. Subconscious memory can influence the functioning of working memory by providing background knowledge and information. When we encounter a task or situation, our subconscious memory retrieves relevant information stored from past experiences, which can then be utilized by working memory to guide our current cognitive processes. This retrieval of information from subconscious memory assists in the comprehension, interpretation, and problem-solving aspects of working memory tasks. Utilization of working memory in subconscious memory tasks. Working memory also plays a role in subconscious memory tasks. For instance, when learning new motor skills, working memory helps in the initial encoding and consolidation of the task. As we practice and repeat the skill, it becomes stored in subconscious memory, requiring less involvement from working memory. However, working memory remains involved in the execution and refinement of the skill until it becomes automatic. Limited capacity of working memory and subconscious memory processing. Working memory has a limited capacity, allowing it to hold only a small amount of information at a time. Subconscious memory, on the other hand, has a vast capacity and can store a wide range of information without conscious effort. This difference in capacity highlights that subconscious memory can operate independently and in parallel to working memory, allowing for multitasking and efficient cognitive processing. Transfer of information between subconscious memory and working memory. Information can flow between subconscious memory and working memory, facilitating the integration and consolidation of new knowledge. Working memory processes information actively, and through rehearsal and elaboration, it can transfer information to subconscious memory for long-term storage. Likewise, when subconscious memories are relevant to current tasks, they can be retrieved and brought into working memory for conscious processing and utilization. Implications and Significance Understanding the relationship between subconscious memory and working memory has several implications for cognitive functioning and learning. Recognizing how subconscious memory influences working memory can improve our ability to comprehend and interpret new information by drawing upon relevant prior knowledge. Additionally, understanding how working memory supports subconscious memory tasks can help optimize learning strategies, particularly in skill acquisition and habit formation. Moreover, by acknowledging the limited capacity of working memory, individuals can manage their cognitive load effectively, distributing tasks between subconscious and working memory systems. This awareness can lead to improved decision-making, problem-solving, and overall cognitive performance. Conclusion Subconscious memory and working memory are integral components of the human memory system, each playing a distinct role in cognitive processing. While subconscious memory operates automatically and influences our behavior without conscious awareness, working memory is responsible for the active manipulation and processing of information in our conscious awareness. The relationship between these memory systems is dynamic and interdependent, 
with subconscious memory providing background knowledge and working memory supporting the execution of subconscious memory tasks. Understanding this relationship enhances our understanding of cognitive processes and opens avenues for optimizing learning strategies and cognitive performance. Thanks for watching.